Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Alana and today I'm going to be talking about my top one and done eyeshadows. Now, Karima McKimmy, who is a fellow YouTuber and her videos are positively exceptional. The amount of effort and love that that woman puts into her videos, it's like a movie masterpiece. Every single one that she uploads, it's incredible. And she filmed her video back in September and to Karima, I say, I am so sorry. <laughs> and to you, I also say sorry because it has taken me a very long time to do this video for no reason other than I honestly was nervous to do it because it is hard for me to choose my top one and done eyeshadows, but I have tried my best here to do that for you today. And this, my friends, will be my roundup of my one and done eyeshadows. Now, before we get started, I do want to give you a little definition of what that is to me. Now, if you are a longtime viewer of my channel, then you will know that I don't dabble in eyeshadow very much in my everyday life. I'm a very simple gal. I'm a very plain and neutral gal when it comes to my eyeshadows. And the same will be said for my taste in one and done eyeshadows and what my top ones will be. So most of the time, when I'm doing my everyday makeup, I'm just putting my bronzer on my eyelids and that's just my go-to. Generally speaking, if I'm putting a powder on my eyes, it's going to be my bronzer. I really love how it ties in everything together on my face. So if I'm not doing my bronzer, then I'm generally going towards an eyeshadow palette where I'm creating a specific look or doing a specific shade, matching an outfit for an event, what have you. And then alternatively, I am going to a cream eyeshadow of some kind. And like I already said, that's generally gonna be some kind of neutral, nice brown shade. It's something that I've just found complements my skin tone the best. And I just like an easy cream eyeshadow, one shade, a nice mid-tone deeper brown that I can just whip with one brush all over my eyelid, bring it all under my lower lash line. And that's just kind of what a one and done eyeshadow looks like for me. Now I have two categories that I wanted to mention before we get into my top one and done eyeshadows because I feel like I'm gonna get questions about these specific products and I just wanted to get it out of the way before we start. This is not including my beloved shimmery eyeshadow toppers, okay? I've got a lot of shimmery, glittery eyeshadow toppers that I love to play with and that I've had the same favorites for a very long time, like my Shiseido Aura Dew in Solar. We've got the Rowan Summer Disco. This is a gorgeous shimmering gold shade, but it's something that I use as an eyeshadow topper. It's not something I would put all over the lid. We also have the Victoria Beckham Beauty Lid Lusters and also the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. This one's a little bit less shimmery. This one's like the Dior Meteor, which I've not included because mine is dried up and they have been discontinued. RIP. So this video does not include those. It does not include my glittery shimmery eyeshadow toppers as I call them. <laughs> this video is also not going to include my eyeliners. This is another one of my favorite go-to style of looks that I like to do on an everyday basis. I take a nice deep brown shadow, I put it on my lash line and I blend it out. It just thickens my lash line without doing anything else. I commonly pair this with putting bronzer on my eyelid and that's a very, very simple, solid go-to look that I do often. That includes my Marc Jacobs liners, my Nude Sticks Coco, Mac Teddy, or my Victoria Beckham Coco liners. Those are my nice deeper browns that I like to just smudge in the lash line and it's not necessarily a product that I would put all over my lid, which if you're using something like the Victoria Beckham one, it's absolutely creamy enough to put it all over your lid. But those are my other go-to shades that I use for liner and lash lines specifically. So now that we have those two categories out of the way, let's move on to the one and done eyeshadows. This is a lot of brown, a lot of neutral, and these are my top cream shadow formulas that I love to go to to just do a one swipe wonder on the lid very easily blendable and perfect for everyday wear. So if you are a plain and simple gal like me, you just want one product to bring you the perfect everyday smokier eye look, then these are my top picks for you. I'm gonna take you through each one. I am going to apply each one, hence why I am mascara-less and eyeshadow-less. I've got makeup wipes on hand. We're gonna be burning my people and I'm gonna show you all of my top favorites. My friends, we're going bold for our first take. The first one I wanted to mention are the Laura Mercier Eye Cavalier caviar, sorry, caviar eye sticks. No, caviar stick eye color. This one in particular is the shade Coco, and this is a product that has existed in my makeup collection since the dawn of time. There have been many shades that I've loved of these. Back when I was into the more cool tone shadow life, I really loved Amethyst, but Coco is just one of those go-to products that has just been, she's been here forever. I've gone in quite heavy. I just wanted to show you what it looked like as a very, very 
easy one swipe smoky eye all over the lid and also on the lower lash line. This is a product I have just gone to for years. And this has actually been a more recent rediscovery in my collection. I pulled these bad boys back out, but they have so many shades of these. And what I love about this formula is even with these deeper shadows, they're so creamy and they're so easy to blend out and they have some that have a little bit more glitter they have some matte versions this one's just a nice little rich chocolate brown and it has been a favorite and if you haven't tried the laura mercier caviar eye sticks absolutely get one in your collection they are fabulous the next shadows I wanted to mention are newer in my collection and those are the Smashbox Always On Cream Eyeshadows. My two top shades from the bunch are grayish and amber and I actually really like to mix these two together. It's what I have on my lids now and I've used both of them on their own. Grayish was one of my favorites and I just sometimes like to add a little bit of warmth to it. So if you're a cool toned eyeshadow lover, Gray is just gonna be perfect for you. And otherwise I like to spice it up a little bit and mix them together. But this formula is incredible. It has been a stunning new launch to witness from Smashbox and I have absolutely been loving these. They have a few fun pops of color as well and they're just the easiest formula to use ever. It is literally like an eye paint. It is so fabulous to use and they are very, very long wearing. It has very quickly become one of my favorite one and done eyeshadow formulas that I have in my collection. And I really hope that they will come out and bring some more shades to play with. So this is definitely a top. Next up, we have the MAC paint pots. The paint pots have been such a staple in the makeup collection, whether or not you're using something to prime or if you're wearing the color by itself, you gotta have a MAC paint pot in your life. It is a staple and groundwork is one of my absolute favorite one and done eyeshadows ever, 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 ever. It is one of the lighter options of the bunch, definitely. And it is just gorgeous. You would think it's cool toned by looking at it, but then it's just got this subtle, warm, muddy feel to it. I absolutely love it. And the paint pots actually just really work as an amazing eyeshadow base in general. But if you just wanted the most lovely, light, subtle color to slap on your lids, for those of you who have similar skin tones to me, obviously, but groundwork is it for me. The paint pots in general, no matter what shade you're using, it's a fabulous formula and it's one of my top products from MAC across the board. Next up, obviously, of course, we have the Auric Smoke Reflect in Defiance by the most beautiful and incredibly talented Samantha Ravindal. Defiance could quite possibly be my top favorite out of the entire bunch. I'm just gonna go on a limb and say it. It's the perfect mid-tone brown with a beautiful little bronzy shimmer running through it. If you wanna feel a little bit smoky and a little bit summery in one, this is the shadow to go to and we can't ignore that it's actually a two-in-one. So it's got your beautiful creamy brown lovely eyeshadow base as well as the beautiful shimmery eyeshadow topper all in one. So if you were to create my perfect one and done eyeshadow, this would absolutely be it. Technically it's two shadows here, but you are purchasing it in itself and you can absolutely wear the cream on its own and save the sparkle for them special occasions when you want to feel a little bit more fancy. But if I could dream up my perfect bronzy shade, this would absolutely be it. And it is definitely one of, if not my top favorite from my one and done eyeshadow bunch. Look at the sparkle. The next one is definitely on the pricey end of the scale, but it is one of my favorites. And this is a Katie Jane Hughes induced discovery. My friends, that is Tom Ford Abyssinian. This is one of the more unique shades that I have ever put and worn on my face. It's that beautiful mid-tone brown, but it's super, super warm, which is really, really rare to find in these cream eyeshadow products. A lot of browns can typically pull a little bit more on the gray, cool tone taupe end of the spectrum. And this one is just so uniquely, beautifully rich and warm. And I love it so much. Very, very pricey, but I really love the Tom Ford cream eyeshadows. This is actually the emotion proof range. So like, water resistant, I guess, tear proof. <laughs> and another one from Tom Ford I've had in my collection for a really long time is the Naked Bronze. This is the OG. I have had this product for so long. Another little duo here. It's old and crusty, but still, yeah, no, she's pretty crusty. Actually, that's very, very expired, but fair. I've had it for like at least three years, at least. Like it's come to Toronto with me. But if I were to choose between the two, it would definitely be this one just because the shade is 
so unique. I hate to say it, but yes, this was worth it for me. And I love this color a lot and I actually wear it a lot. I do often keep this one in my everyday makeup drawer. This is fabulous. All right, guys, up next is my Armani Eye Tint in the shade 39. I absolutely love this formula. A tiny bit goes a long way. I put the littlest little swipe on my lash line and blended it out into my entire lid and it blends out into this beautiful, beautiful, truly sheer tint over the lid. I love this color. It is a little bit more on the cool tone brown side, but it's very rich cool tone brown nonetheless and i think it's gorgeous it's got a tiny little hint of shimmer running through it and this is another one that's a little bit deeper for my skin tone which is nice because it can be worn every day blend it out lightly or you can wear it like this all around blend it out all around the eye with a deeper smoky eye for a more occasion appropriate wear so this is a really versatile one absolutely love this and armani has a ton of shades in these too which is great all right guys, the final cream eyeshadows I wanted to mention are the Revlon Colorstay cream eyeshadows. I have the shades Espresso and Chocolate. I've previously used the shade Espresso in a video and I had noted then that I had expected it to be a little bit warmer and it was more on the very cool toned shimmery, taupey, more silver speckled spectrum. <laughs> and then I recently found the shade Chocolate, which by the packaging, I had also expected this to be a much warmer shade, but applied onto the eyes, it still just is that very cool toned, mid-tone brown. And it seems to be a general theme that it's a little bit more difficult, generally speaking anyway, but extra difficult to find a good warm toned cream shadow or warm shadow from the drugstore. They're just a little bit less frequent. Shadows do tend to pull on the cool tone side. When at the drugstore, however, I do still think that this is an absolutely gorgeous formula in general if you do find a shade that you like. And it was kind of a somewhat answer to the disappearance of the Maybelline Bad to the Bronze or On and On Bronze. That was a cream eyeshadow that I had in my collection and loved for years and it would appear as though it was discontinued. I thought that happened a few years ago. It's still on the Maybelline website, but it does just say out of stock when you go to purchase it through any other websites. And then whenever you Google it to buy, it's like eBay. <laughs> I am not an encyclopedia of launch knowledge, but if anyone knows what's happening with those Maybelline ones, definitely let us know in the comments down below. But until then, honestly, these Revlon ones, I do rate this formula as they say. It's really beautiful. It blends out super, super easily and makes a gorgeous affordable option if you are looking for a fabulous cream one and done eyeshadow. And with that, my friends, this completes my one and done eyeshadow roundup. Those are a few of my favorite one and done eyeshadows that I have in my collection, as well as a few of my favorite formulas of cream eyeshadows in general. Call it what you will, those are my top with a few little outlying favorites in the eyeliner and glitter shadow categories. <laughs> I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What are some of your favorite and go-to top one and done eyeshadows? I wanna know if there are any that need to be on my radar, any formulas that I need to try. I definitely just saw that Jamie Genevieve, AKA Vive, is launching their eyeshadow sticks, which I am so excited to get my hands on. But if there's any others that you think I should try, please let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my my channel if you want to see more videos from me thanks so much as always for watching you guys and i'll see you all very soon for a new video bye